perfect West End role for him, Ian H. Watkins has decided to get some extra training at the Stella Adler Studio of Acting in New York. Three weeks have passed, and it's time for H. to attend his first Adler Technique class with acting guru Patrick Qualiano, who doesn't waste any time getting down to business. Actually, I have something here that I'll read from you. This I'll read for you because this is what Adler used to say about class to her actors. She said, with relationship to class, you cannot miss class, be late for class, eat or drink in class, unless it's water, sleep in class, chit chat, leave the room to pee, comment or pass judgment on others' work. She said, as an actor, you cannot be sick, you cannot get a cold, have a backache or a headache, you cannot be uncomfortable, you cannot be unaware and clueless, be negative, moody, depressed or irritable, be casual about anything or be middle class. You have to believe in yourself, you have to be secure without being arrogant, you have to always be ready, willing and able to work, be independent, be in hot pursuit of understanding, be respectful to this craft by doing your best work and be totally supportive and kind to your fellow actors. So that was Stella's what was the method. second one again? <laughs> right, exactly. As you can see, it's a laundry list. She used to say in many classes, Adler used to say, lines, lines, lines. All I'm hearing is lines. Because students would see words and they would think about the words. Mm -hmm. And they would say lines. And through training, we find a way to take the words that are so important and then say, okay, I've studied it. I know the text. I've broken it down. I understand it. It's here. Now let me put the words here and let me exper have an experience on the words so the words come forward. But she oftentimes, in all due respect to Stella, she oftentimes would get very frustrated when students didn't get it. And so she would say, reach my brain, <laughs> you know, because she got it. You see, you're wearing a hat today. It's fine. Stella would make you take your hat off. She would say your hat is protecting you. She would probably say that this is protecting me. You see, you don't need it for the classroom. You need your hat out there. You need your sunglasses out there in life so that you can protect yourself and be incognito and be mysterious. But here, you see, we want to see the blue of your eyes, you know. We want to see the blondness of your hair. I've got hat hair now. <laughs> <laughs> My hair's not good. <laughs> you see, but that's, we have to get away oh. from vanity. It's not about vanity. It's the truth of your hair. Oh. You see? Yes. That's difficult for you, isn't it? Yes, because my hair's awful. I can see because you're turning red. Uh, yes. <laughs> and, and you, you wore, the, so that's what you did. You wore the hat. Uh -huh. I've exposed you, haven't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've exposed you. You were wearing the hat to cover up and to protect this. Mm -hmm. That's all you right now. That's what you need to use. Okay? You I see? Sure the that's right. Mm -hmm. That's your truth. You talk about no the hat to cover the hair. What I can see in Ian without knowing him, but I pick up things very quickly, is he's very, very quick to entertain. He loves to entertain. He was trying to entertain me, and I find him very charming, but he didn't entertain me, okay? And I think he has an incredible potential, but I need to keep him honest. And that's why I took his hat off. I took his hat off because, and I know he didn't like it, because he was using the hat to protect himself. And I'm going to strip him. I'm going to strip him down and so that he feels naked. And I will take him to tears. I'll do it to him, because I know he's not comfortable with that. He's more comfortable with laughter. Reflecting back on that, I need to capture a lot of I say that I don't do but everybody has a certain amount of vanity. And I do think that if I was embarrassed today with Patrick, there's a lot more of that to come. I do think he's really going to test me and put me on the spot. Whilst H is out in New York, his agent is back in London searching for his dream West End role. Intent on not being a student forever, H decides to phone him up to see if there's any news. The nerves are starting to kick in now because I don't know what I'm going to do next. And I'm training to do something that I really want. And I need to be good 
and it's it's going to be a personal thing if I don't get it because it means I'm not good enough. Thank you, Entertainment. I am. Hello, Lowry. It's H. Oh hi. Hold on a minute. Oh, marvelous. Thank you. Hello, H. Hello, Derek. You okay, mate? Uh, yeah, not too bad, thank you. Things are fine at the moment. Um, we're, we're doing okay. Yeah, good, good. Yeah. I'm, I'm just yeah. kind of checking up on um, things and the way forward, really. You know, um, so do you have any kind of suggestions or any news that, that I should be knowing? There's not much at the moment that um, that we can... There was a, um, a short film, but it was a, a kind of... Um, it was filming this week, and um, and it was, you know, a, uh, one of the... Um, a drama school film uh, with no money attached, so um, I just let that one go. Um, so, um, no, in the main, uh, H, it's... Um, it's Quite barren. I mean, it, it, it's interesting, but, um, I mean, for, for us here, but... Um, not particularly interesting for you at the moment. Yeah. Certainly nothing to bring you back for yet. Oh, but, well, um, that's kind of... No, not, listen... That's not really what I was thinking, what, what I was hoping to hear, but... <laughs> hey, that's, that's the reality, isn't it? So, um, well, listen, as long as I've got a way of getting hold of you, I've got your mobile number, I can always leave messages on that as well. That's great. Thank you so much, Derek. It's all I love, um, and um, I look forward to seeing you as soon as you get back. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Enjoy the theatre. All right. Thank you, H. Take care, mate. Bye-bye. Bye, love. Bye. Well, that's a bit pants, isn't it? <sighs> that conversation with Derek has just made me realise that I am kind of <laughs> technically unemployed. And... It's quite hard because I've always had something to do or something to work towards. And there was part of me that kind of knew the answer to that conversation, but I didn't really want it to be spelt out like that. Next time, H goes a bit mental down the dental. He takes his work undercover. And we finally find out whether his career is destined for the box office or the dole office.